It's hard. It's hard to know that your child doesn't want to live anymore. It's hard to think that your child does, doesn't want to be around other kids because of the, just the way that he looks. This was 13-year-old Malachi Leisher Levin's reality. It's, it's definitely a nationwide problem that we're seeing primarily in the middle school age kids. A common problem, staring a young boy in the face. All I was thinking about was ways to like ignore them or like funny comebacks or stuff like that to just to eject it. Malachi was targeted and bullied by other children for his appearance. A lot of kids would comment, well, he's different, you're, you're different. You're different. And he, would, he wouldn't understand what they were referring to, and they would say, oh, you can't see it. Your skin's just different. Making it difficult to embrace his differences. For having my hair in an afro, that's why I like keeping my hair short nowadays because of the bullying. Words escalating to physical harm. At one point, it made me feel like I wanted to kill myself. In response, Malachi became anxious about school and his grades dropped. She noticed there were some issues with him being sensitive and kids picking up on that and what I was doing to manage it. Even after talking with his parents, he still felt defeated. I even went home crying a lot of the time. I just, I just ignored my parents and just got into a lot of trouble. Malachi's mother, Kate, says he had a hard time expressing his feelings. And instead of being able to just speak about what it was and work things out, he would push or hit kids, and then that would get him negative reputation with the teachers. Kate says things always seem to circle back to her son. Even if it was just shoving a chair, the action that led up to him being angry or aggressive or violent was no longer attended to. And when it came to the bullies? It would always be, we're focused more on Malachi and what he has done than the other kids. This left Malachi's family feeling stuck. We run into situations where bullies didn't fully realize just how much they were impacting another student, and so it's about helping to educate them. Kate says her family turned to virtual school as a lifeline. Whatever might be a struggle for a child or a family in more of a traditional setting, we can help take that away to allow for the learning to occur. Because the bottom line is every child should have the opportunity to learn and in a positive manner. In Malachi's case, leaving the traditional school setting has improved his attitude towards life. I can have the strength to choose my own paths and like what I do does have meaning and his performance in the classroom. Now he's an A-B student, but he's doing really, really good in school. It's easier for us to get him to focus on school and to get his grades where they need to be. Malachi also attends therapy to help with the abuse he suffered. It's helped me manage my anger, my depression, every negative emotion I've had. But the problems need to be addressed at the source. And helping our kids understand that that repeated action can be really hurtful and detrimental to kids. And on the flip side of being the victim. Learning to speak up for yourself and advocate for yourself, because that's a skill that if we learn early is gonna help us throughout life. And understanding when you need help. It's, it's okay to not be okay. You have to reach out and get help.